Hi, in this video, you're going to learn SMD transistor testing, step by step, using the multimeter. Basically, this is the part two where we will go deeper into understanding how to test all kind of SMD transistor. So let's get started. So we're gonna use the multimeter as you can see, and of course we're gonna select the diode option. You know why? Because the transistor contains diodes inside it. We're gonna check many kinds of transistor, including 3 pins transistor, 4 pins transistor, etc. So as you can see, basically the reference for the transistor is Q, as you can see. Q refer to transistor, as you can see in this motherboard. You can find also other types of transistors with D, the reference D, as you can see, refer to diode, okay? Because as I told you before, the transistor contain two diodes inside it, okay? So as you can see here, this transistor we have Q, and for this transistor we have D for edge reference. We're going to test using the multimeter all kind of this transistor, step by step. So first, let's see the sample or the circuit for the transistor. As you can see here, basically this is a transistor here, we have Q1003, it's reference in the circuit diagram. Here we have emitter, base, and collector. Okay, emitter, base, and collector. Here, as you can see, we have this arrow here, means PMP transistor. Okay, when the arrow goes from emitter to the base, means the transistor is PMP. But for this, for example, as you can see, we have the arrow goes from base to emitter means this is basically NPN transistor. I'm going to show you all these things in the next steps. Here, basically, this is the MOSFET, okay? So pay attention. You can find also that the MOSFET has a Q, the reference Q, as you can see here. Okay, so we have drain, source, and gate. It's not like a transistor, okay? So let's begin by testing this kind of transistors as you can see here with three terminals as you can see so first of all you should locate the base collector and the emitter okay the first you should locate as you can see here we have base emitter and collector okay so as you can see npn transistor basically is the transistor that gives you a reading when you put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in collector and once in emitter and you get a reading. But for PMP transistor, when you put the black probe in the base and the red probe once in collector and once in emitter, you will get a reading. Okay, so of course we're gonna select the diode option in the multimeter so let's get started. Here I put the black probe in the base and so as you can see, here we get about 700 for this transistor. As you can see, here we put the black probe in the base and the red probe once in collector, as you can see. Okay, we get a reading, as you can see, we get a reading in the multimeter and once in emitter we get another reading. It means this transistor is a good transistor. If I swap the probe as you can see if I swap the probe I should not get a reading so now I swap the probe no reading as you can see here also no reading in the multimeter means this is a good transistor and this is a PNP transistor okay so this is PNP transistor so let's check this transistor also so I put the red probe in the base and the black probe here in the emitter, I get a reading. Now the black probe in the collector, I get a reading. Okay, so this is NPN transistor. You know why? Because I move the black probe from emitter to collector and I get a reading. But the red probe is fixed in the base. Now this is P NPN transistor. Okay. NPN transistor and by the way this is a good transistor because a bad transistor is a 
when I swap to props, as you can see, I should not get anything in the multimeter, as you can see. Nothing in the multimeter. We get one in the multimeter. Nothing. Means this is a good transistor and NPN transistor. So the only state where you can say the transistor is bad is when you get a continuity or a buzzer. So let's check this kind of transistors. Also here we have other transistors using the same working principle. So here basically this is the collector. The middle pin is connected to the other pin. As you can see here, this is the same pin. Here we have collector. Okay, the same for this. As you can see in the multimeter, we have low resistance. Between base and collector, we get a reading. As you can see, so base emitter, we get a reading. As you can see, so base emitter, we get a reading. Base collector, we get a reading. So if I swap the probes, let's see what we what we will get. Let's see nothing. Between base and emitter, nothing between base and collector means the transistor is good. So let's check the signal one here. So we have base, collector, and emitter. So between base and collector, we get a reading, as you can see. Base, collector, we get a reading. Base, emitter, we get a reading. So this is P and P transistor because we move the positive probe of the multimeter. So we have another transistor that we're going to check right now, as you can see, using the same working principle always. So we find this kind of transistor in the computer motherboard or in the old laptop motherboards. And of course, you can find it everywhere in electronic boards. Here we have Q, as you can see. So let's look at the base. Here we have the base, as you can see. Here we have the base. Here we have collector. The same pin here also we have collector and here we have emitter. So let's check first this collector. We should get a low resistance, zero ohm in the multimeter, as you can see. Means the same pin. Okay. So let's check right now between base collector and base emitter. So base collector, we get a reading 800 drop voltage, base emitter. 830 drop voltage means this is a good transistor and of course this is pnp transistor because we move the positive probe or the read probe of the multimeter from emitter to collector and we get a reading okay so let's check this transistors also over here this is basically a three terminal transistors so of course always we will select the diode option in the multimeter as you can see so let's check this transistors right now so always you should locate the base collector and emitter so now base emitter we get a reading okay we have a reading base collector we have other reading so we have here base emitter And base collector, we get a rating as you can see. Okay. So to summarize, when you put the black probe in the base and the red probe once in emitter and once in collector, and you get a rating, means the transistor is P and P transistor. And to inverse, when you put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in emitter and once in collector, and you get a rating, means the transistor is NPN transistor because the probe that you move from collector to the to the emitter is the black probe, the negative probe. That's why the transistor is NPN transistor. Okay. So when you swap the probes, you can get two states: no reading or a high voltage. The same means automatically the transistor is a good transistor. The SMD transistor testing is different from SMD transistor or SMD MOSFETs testing. Okay, because the transistors, the SMD transistor contain just contain two diodes inside it. One diode between base and emitter, and the other between base and collector.
okay? But for the MOSFET, any MOSFET, it contains just one diode, okay? Of course, there is GL MOSFETs that we're gonna see in other videos, okay? But a normal MOSFET, it contains just one diode inside it between source and drain, okay? So the MOSFET contains one diode, between source and drain, and the transistor contains two diodes, one between base and connector, and the other between base and emitter. So please pay attention to these details. Thank you.